Forest Lawn. <laughs> Check this place over here at 3.30. Is that a state cycle on the driveway? Yeah, that's highway patrol. Can you make the license? Can you bring it around? Yeah. That's 221 Bravo 6. Hey, I know that cycle. Jack Moran. Double dork. Double dork? <laughs> Try that thermograph. Thermograph. Cutting in thermograph. Coming in. <laughs> the motor looks hot. Yeah, hasn't been there too long. Hey, you want me to see if the owner's home? Sure. Can we do it? Yeah. That that company guy, Matusek, he cleared me this morning. I'm telling you, this sucker will do everything but cook your breakfast. So that's H23. H23. See, the house is right here. She's there. How the hell's the computer know she's there? Well, the, the people here, they clear it with their security patrol, and then they zap it right to us. <laughs> Ooh, oh, that's spooky. a good time to roll. Too, Mr. Fletcher. I'll come along uh, when he's in. Yeah, right. Buddy Cochran drive a gray Corvette? Yeah, why? Check nine o'clock. He's in some kind of hurry. Oh, yeah. Listen, check Cochran out. On a computer? Yeah, I'm gonna tag along. Do you copy? Is there a problem? That's Cochran, F.E. Cochran. U.S. Army. F.E. What's the F.E. stand for? Fuck everybody. Army. We're almost there. Blue Thunder, this is Tower. Do you copy? Uh, Special Base, Blue Thunder, you're coming in very garbled. Can I read you? I got Washington. Special base. Still garbled. Still garbled. 
Carvel. Blue Thunder, come in. Do you read me? Breaking up special base. Can't read you. Blue Carvel. Here it comes. All survivor, is he kidding? Thor. Project Thor. Wait a minute. I know what that is. Request information. Thor. Project. They got it. Here it comes. Tactical helicopter offensive response. Defensive response. What does that mean? Like the boys from Washington have been jerking us around. I think they got bigger plans for this turkey. Blue Thunder, you will acknowledge. Oh, shit. Uh, Blue Thunder in a special base. Oh, shit. of a couple guys emptying trash. Can't use it. All right, goddammit, hell, Murphy, what's going on out there? Captain Braddock, I'm gonna hold you personally responsible for that man's behavior. Dr. Haycock strongly recommended you be grounded. For your information, Mr. Eisman, there are no paranoid schizophrenics on active duty here. Hey, you know, he checks his sanity with his wristwatch. What do you check yours with, a dipstick? <laughs> I don't have to take crap from you, Braddock. He's finished as of now. And if there's one scratch on that aircraft, so are you. All right, try the thermograph. Yeah. I told you it was cool. Lovely, lovely. Can you park it right here? I'll bring it around. I think I got something. Hey, it locked. Yeah, hold it, hold it. I still fail to understand. The home was the home. The Astro Division was autonomous. The man was assigned to us. The McNeely business complicated it. McNeely, yes. I can't say you people have exactly covered yourself with glory so far. If she hadn't started shouting, it wouldn't have been necessary to rough her up. Rough her up. Is that the latest euphemism for assassination? Well, you see, she, she had street informants, and she had already made the connection between our project and the, and the trouble in the streets. She was going public, on the record. Who are these other guys? Shh. They can't hear me. Shut up, anyway. This pilot, uh, Murphy, Frank Murphy. Is that under control? I don't want any premature attention coming to the program. Blue Thunder might be perceived as a threat. I just drop the hammer on him. What do you think, Colonel? I think, Mr. Holmes, that I should take him out. You mean kill him? When? As soon as possible. Jesus Christ, Frank. The boy's crazy about me, isn't he? You got all this on tape? I got every word of it. Good. All right, give him all the help he needs. This conversation never took place. If it gets back to me, I'll deny it. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Oh, shit. Hold your nose, we're in deep shit. Let's get the hell out of here.
I'm gonna get the key card for the tape. Be careful.